Hello, and welcome back to Age of Wonders Landfall. We finished Fire Sphere Episode 1. Let's go Fire. on. Mastery phase. Go on to the mastery phase. I remember visiting a place near the mountains where rivers of ice flow downward towards the desert sands. Between mountain and desert, the melting ice has created fertile lands. Gabriel warned me of two wizards nearby who war over these precious green fields. If they remain at war, I can topple them both. The humans will have a fertile homeland. Once my people find safety, then I will discover why Gabriel's wizards rebel against him. First, I must attend to my people. Well, I do hope that we're not playing as the humans for the entire campaign. Uh, given that we have two... I'm just waiting because there was one time a second text scroll. Okay, I guess not this time. Okay, here it does carry over. And difficulty, we'll keep it on normal, classic. Yep, looks good to me. And we did level up in that final fight, so I guess... Mm, immune to enemy control. Yeah, having our hero mind controlled would be pretty bad, although his resistance is decent. Health, offense... We'll take that. Alright, so... That voice is a sound effect, for what it's worth. So at the start of the mission, at the very least, we can hopefully hear what they have to say. All right, looks like we don't start with a city, but we do start with two settlers. Uh, and two scouts. Let's start with these. This hill looks like a good spot to build an outpost. Building close to water means we can build ships when our town flourishes. It does mean that. I'm not sure how close to the water we have to be. No, oh, not quite. But let's go for what looks like the central, central-ish hill tile. So this looks like a good spot. And if I can't build boats, I don't really care because I don't tend to like building boats. Uh, build an outpost. So with that, hmm. Well, obviously our wizard goes into our town. Although, I don't have a tower here, so that's not the most useful thing. Man, if we only start with two outposts, we're actually going to have a pretty slow start here. Growth in zero turns. How much housing are we building? 17 turns with 10 population. Zero turns with 20? I don't, I don't feel like the math works out there. There's something going wrong. Hmm. Guess we probably want to go this way with uh, this group. Must be 10 hexes. Does it show in this one? Am I thinking... Maybe I'm thinking of shadow magic. I was expecting the screen to flash red everywhere that I couldn't build every time I hit that. Maybe that was the thing that was added in shadow magic. I don't know. Uh, yes, we will command this battle. Okay, we've got a group of orcs in here. This is an abomination. Yeah, Venomous Spit, Entangle, Swimming, Poison Strike, Concealment. This is a weird unit. Anyway, we're not actually fighting this. I just wanted to see what was in here. And I guess we don't go down to zero movement points for fleeing. So that's nice. So yeah, we'll clear that eventually. I guess that's really where our army could be headed, but uh, 
Maybe later. And yeah, as you can see, we kept our spells from the previous mission. I guess our enchantments are probably all off. Also, we have no mana. Like, this is going to be a pretty rough start, honestly. But playing on normal, I don't expect to be challenged too much by the AI here. Well, we are still an outpost, and it still says 15 turns. As opposed to 17, so it did go down two. Hmm. Was that a nine or something that was just weird? I feel like there was a hmm, something. Crop fields, yeah, starting to get our fields going. Well, we're just going to build housing until uh, the town grows. Oh. No free furnace for us, but there are more resources. You know, these are all pretty weak. I think... Oh, another potential dungeon to explore. Yeah, maybe we send our hero back. Oh, do I want to? Do I want to expand back here? Where do I want to expand to? If I have to be at least ten away. At the very least, let's grab this. Uh, okay. Arctic terrain isn't going to be great, but if we build up here, that should be far enough away we can at least get the city started. Because just having this thing sitting here and also occupying or taking up nine gold a turn is not ideal. And got a couple of wolves here, guarding a mine, it looks like. So we'll clear that, and then we'll head south and start taking those orcs. Ooh, underground. All right, we do get our underground at the start, I guess. I'm assuming that most people watching this are familiar with the Age of Wonders games, but I've done I've been doing Planetfall for quite a long time, so this is actually something that, if you're coming from Planetfall, you might not know, but there used to be multiple map layers. Uh, in, well, all the other Age of Wonders games, actually. It's just Planetfall that doesn't. And in fact, the very first Age of Wonders game actually had underground and depth. We had a second under underground layer underneath the underground layer. Which, um, yeah, it's kind of cool. Now, not really any point in flagging this, but I will anyway. Uh, hello. Oh. Diplomacy. Two Catmasters and Shira. Tigran Rogue. Starts with Bard skills, improves morale of all units in the party. Uh, if we are getting Tigran units here, human and Tigran are both neutral, so this won't be an issue. But that does allow me to put good or evil units into my army without having a chance of desertion or anything like that. Uh, night vision, so yeah, cats, I guess they have that naturally. Yeah, so these Tigran units would be better for exploring underground than the humans. And she starts with the Healing Showers spell. Okay, a little AoE heal. Interesting. And since we flagged the reflecting pools, they showed us this, we might as well take a look. Uh, more underground. A neutral magic relay. Two raised towns. Okay, so we want to bring colonists out here. Is there, is there mana here? There is. Hidden behind the tree. Uh, okay, life node. And red, it looks like. Yeah, so we can see down here that there are two opponents on this, but a white and a red. Uh, if you're paying attention on the title card and you're familiar with your Age of Wonders 2 Wizard Kings, uh, you probably know who it is. I did actually load this mission briefly just to know who to put on there. Also, when I hit end turn, uh, we should get a little display saying, yeah, Artica and Carissa. Okay. So I didn't have to spoil myself on the mission at all to figure out, aside from, I guess, who's here. But like as far as the lay of the land goes or anything like that, I could just tell. Uh, from this and the message. Uh, Artica. Okay, so we have an air mage here. You fire wizards leave me no choice other than to attack. This land was created for my people. I created this glacier. Without it, there would be no fertile valley. Your people, the frostlings. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting when you look at the roster in this game. 
There are 12 Wizard Kings. There are also 12 races, so every race gets one Wizard King. Is there anything back here? Probably not. But then, um... 12 is also divided by a 2 is 6, which happens to be the number of elements that there are. So everything got divided pretty nicely, honestly. Um, let's just hope that this is buildable. Um... Ooh, that's really close to the mountains. I'm gonna go here. Really? Cannot build in current location. Okay, I guess I just can't build out here. Or maybe there's a town right around the other side of the mountains. I don't know about. This is kind of unfortunate. Hmm. But yeah, so there are 12, 12 wizards, one for each race, uh, two for each sphere of magic, uh, four for each element. So everything kind of worked out nicely in terms of the numbers. And then you have Merlin and Gabriel as people who are outside of that because they represent Cosmos. Uh, I think they're just kind of, it's kind of like you have the 12 wizards that were created for balance and then you have the story characters. But yeah, pretty small roster overall. Okay, well, that's one wolf down. We'll try to protect the crossbow. And it's only 50% hit chance. I was going to say get the experience on our hero, but could have just attacked. Okay, so we do have that leadership making my unit slightly better, which is why they still are terrible, but... Um, hmm. Do you want experience on the crossbowman? Or the halberdier. I think we'll go with the crossbow. Alright. So that's some much needed income. Um, is that? Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. I mean, we should be able to build on this hill, right? Shura. My name is Shura, and I have fled to this land because I despise the Akaa. Not all Tigrans are hostile to humans. Allow me to prove that to you. Well, joining me for free is a good start. A haunted crypt lies hidden amongst the trees. It may contain artifacts, but only enter with a strong force. Yeah, maybe not... Not for now. Alright, and let's uh, take a peek in here. Uh, got some frostlings in here, okay. Some wolf riders. So, wolf rider or wolf raider? Yeah, fire weakness. Well, that looks good. That's how the frostlings are. You can see the stats are significantly. Oh, wait, no, of course, it's higher than the halberdier. This isn't the base unit, this is the infantry equivalent. Alright. And. Yeah, let's, uh, let's just assume that there's nothing back there. So unlike Age of Wonders 3 onward, there don't tend to be hostile neutral units all across the map. Change, how are we doing? Six turns still, huh? Part of the reason I'm doing housing is because I literally can't build anything else when you're at an outpost size. Wooden wall is your limit. So, I mean, I could build more halberdiers, but... Uh... Not the best thing. 
Alright. Beware the Ivory Mountains. Glacier. Uh, the Ivory Mountain. Ivory Mountains Glacier. Leads to uh, Ar Artica's realm. What's well, a uh, big spider? Uh, web? Yeah, it's a little bit scary. Hmm. Yeah, I think we want to build here. And then we'll have Domain, although I guess we only have Domain... Uh, yeah, you can actually see we don't have Domain around our hero right now. Uh, that's because we are not in a wizard tower. Magic Catalyst found. 50 casting points. It's kind of pointless at this stage in the game, so we'll go with 150 research. And... Hmm... Anarchy attempts to trigger rebellion in Target City. Fire Mastery turns all nodes to fire and increases your domain around them. I mean, that's a pretty good spell, but not something that we can really do. Uh, we could also be looking at these, which I didn't do last time. Um, but for example, Scholar I like to grab pretty early on because it just 20% reduction in all research for the rest of the game. It is going to take 50 turns at our current. Uh, current stage, well, we can cut it down to 25. Because we're not using our mana for anything anyway, and we're kind of still just trying to build up our basics before we... Uh, before we get on to anything here. Um, let's take a peek. Three spiders. Okay. I have to remember all of this, but fortunately I am video recording, so I can always look back between parts and see if I really want to be doing something or not. Okay, I think we'll send you up. Maybe grab that mana and go up this way. I don't know. Look around. I mean, we could, we could regroup with these and then start killing the orcs. Which is probably what we should be doing. Hmm. Mostly just trying to take this before the AI does, but I haven't seen anybody move yet. So I wonder if I have to be in a wizard tower to benefit from this or not. Uh, I do that, so I'm only using movement points on the one, the hero, the unit who has more movement, so that I can run back with everybody afterwards. Hmm. 100% obstacle. These bones? I also don't know if they need full movement to attempt a web or not. Okay, now we're on a hill. I don't know. Okay, we killed one. And successfully webbed me. For two rounds, I cannot move. These things are pretty scary. But we had the ability to deal with them. Alright, uh, looks like I don't have Domain, despite having conquered it. 
And at this point, I guess I probably just want my army to run around this way, unless that ends up being nothing. Hmm. Or water, I guess is what I meant to say. Alright, I guess that's why I want the, um... Oh, I can cross there. Okay. Well, I'm going to assume that this is enough to deal with some of the orcs. Now, uh, what was in here again? Some raiders? That's going to be a, a little bit harder. But this stuff, we should be able to clear with this army. And then once we get some levels, we can consider this... Maybe. Oh. Carissa offers peace. Hello there, young Merlin. I heard you defeated my arrogant, the, that arrogant monster, Yaka. Embrace my warmth, or be frozen by the Ice Witch, Artica. Perhaps I can teach you some new tricks, too. We'll accept peace with her for now. We are trying to rein in the, the wizards of the circle and all that, right? So... If we can be allied with her and still win the mission... That sounds good to me. Okay, can I build here? Yes. Another outpost with no population. But at least it's starting to make me money. Yeah, so an Impaler and an Abomination. Just basic work units. Now what does her army look like here? Oh, she's got a human. And a shaman. Okay. Control animal. Kind of neat. Can also mess with mounted units. Wall climbing. I don't remember shamans having that. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, so Carissa is the orcs. And you might have noticed that her uh, image is not very orc-like. That's uh, something that he's actually been uh, from the Age of Wonders 4 devlogs that I've been following. Uh, that's a, a feature that they've sort of highlighted in a weird way uh, in the new game coming out, which is that... Or defense, given these choices. Uh, which is that um, the Wizard Kings, if you if you choose to play... When you're making a new leader in Age of Wonders 4, you choose if you want to be a Wizard King or a Champion of the People. And if you're a Champion of the People, you have to be the same race as your people. But if you're a wizard king, you don't, because they just subjugate a race that they find interesting and make them do their bidding. So uh, wizard kings are real good people. Anyway, I could take archery, and that would let me put the bow on my other hero. Which is actually kind of tempting. But I also have an extra bow on um, Merlin here, I believe. Five turns. Okay, we'll build housing for two more turns. Yeah, he's got a bow. Since uh, I don't have a tower, there's not really any reason to just sit there. Uh, hold on. I just had a thought. These are production resources. I don't want to grab that until my city grows. Because if I build if I grab it right now, it's just gonna get me a wooden wall. Which is not great. Okay, the Impaler does have First Strike. 
And block on the Axemen. Giving them 10 defense. Yeah, I'm not... Probably not hitting him too well. I can do well with that. Uh, with this unit, at least. Uh, oh, right. She has access to all of my spells, not just... The healing showers is unique to her. Oh, well, that makes this a lot easier. Um, hmm. Do I want to swarm these? Not enough casting points. She only has 10. Oh, okay. That answers that. take this unit out without having to fight it. That'll be good. Alright. My units are more than enough for this. Uh, let's try to get the experience on her, though. Taking quite a few hits there. Now we're in our domain, so Merlin can actually help out with this fight. Uh, we'll just wait a turn. There's no rush on that. Uh, no. Okay, thank you, game. Okay, Artica up here. What have we got here? Independent Orc Town. Guarded by one heavy cavalry. Hopefully we get there before Carissa, because I would like to conquer that. That's uh, significantly better than what we have. Probably, given that we just have two outposts still. Ooh. Oh my god. That was more than his maximum damage. Plus two damage on first melee strike. Yep. That was a that was a pretty good roll. I didn't check what fire crossbow's damage was, but that was a pretty good roll too, I would imagine. All right, um, how do we... We get two hits, one, two... I think we can get three hits if we do this. No, because that doesn't reach. Okay, so we just get two hits regardless. Do we want to hit first, or do we want to have our pikes, our halberdiers doing something? And by doing something, I probably mean dying. Alright, well, we got him out of movement anyway. Damage. Okay, seven damage potential on that. Three. Okay, well, glad we didn't lose a unit. Some live growth over there. Maybe we just hit another level? Alright, this is a village. 
Uh, production for orcs as well. Hmm. So now if we go under diplomacy, yeah, you can see orcs. Realm consists primarily of orcs, just like that. So yeah, they don't. The neutrals don't care. care. Uh, goblins are okay with me. Interesting. I guess you can use this to see what races are on the map. You can kind of just tell from from what you're seeing as you wander around. But see, okay, they grab the they grab the mine. Um. Well, I guess our plan of going around and regrouping just fell apart because we're about to lose a city to a single raider. Where is it? Oh, it's it's up here. All right, we have more movement here, so let's. Oh, for zero gold, they offer to join you. Right, I'm, uh... Because I grabbed that orc town, I'm majority orcs now, so now the orcs like me. This is actually something I really like about the old Age of Wonders games. I feel like Age of Wonders 1 and 2 actually had more interesting diplomacy with regards to the races than 3 did. 3 tried going this sort of Shades of Grey approach where like orcs are no longer evil. Instead, it's if you're playing an orc, you start as neutral, and your your deeds make your particular faction good or evil. Which, I mean, there's a time and place for that sort of thing, but I think the classic fantasy good versus evil feel is actually kind of nice in games like this. All right, well, I don't think we really need your support anymore. So now we will go down here and when I say that, actually let's move this way a little bit, one more, so we can cast our spells. Uh, you grow this turn, right? Two more turns. Mm. Okay, I guess we're just sitting here for two turns. What I'm hoping is that this is going to give me a wizard tower. Oh, more units. Oh, the orcs love me. Okay. Temple complex, happiness and income. Well, it looks like we're playing orcs, so... I mean, I did get what I wanted. I said I didn't want every mission to be human, right? So we could go with Ballista here. We could get a... Pioneer, maybe? I don't know if we have enough people. Just because there are all these ruined cities around here. But I think we're going to go with the barracks. Because I don't want to make impalers, but I do want to make units. Okay, you guys grow in one turn. Um, we might as well do housing, though, for another turn. The gold isn't that much of a difference. Yeah. Okay, uh, you are just going to sit there for a turn, you are just going to sit there for a turn. Okay, you guys are going to link up. And uh, I guess we have a whole bunch of raiders to deal with. Here's a snowscaper. Frostbolts. This is their... Hel no, not Halberdier. Yes, Halberdier? Yeah, yes, Halberdier. Their basic units. Equivalent. All right, well, time to lose a town and a mine. And oh, that's a lot of units, actually. Our hero is pretty strong, though. All right, so we can build some stuff before we spend any money on anything, though.
Let's grab these building resources and hope it's like a 1 in 5, I guess, or 2 in 5 chance that we'll get. No, that's not how probability works. If we have like 5 buildings to choose from, it will pick 1, so it's a 1 in 5 chance. But then there's also on top of that a 1 in 4 chance, assuming it didn't choose it, that it would choose the other one. I don't know what the percentage on that works out to, but um, it works out to something. Forty-five. Fifty. Okay, well. Right, you have strikes, so I can't just click. Uh, sure, we'll risk it. Good. 17 out of 30. I'm hoping that means she leveled up. Can you hit? 0% chance because there's a big rock in the way. Alright. I guess I don't have to move all of my units necessarily, but uh, moving forward made a slight difference. Um, okay, entangle, I was wondering. Yeah, can't move. Well, see so you can play that game. Six, I'm just uh, getting some bad odds here. Yeah, I can just entangle again. Like, this is pretty ridiculous. Uh, Mist, are you immune to poison anyway? Poison protection, okay, whatever. So six, I have eight. I should be able to hit. There we go. Unfortunate. We'll take the Builder's Hall. Right, which I guess this demonstrates that buildings do show up on the map, though. Now, I could save scum that. I'm not going to, but I could. Okay, well, they are weak to fire, so I can do fun stuff like this. That might have been overkill. But I just wanted to take advantage of the fact that I had Merlin in range. Uh, Tangle succeeded. So we're going to give all the experience to our hero. So these units... Uh, we'll just form a defensive wall there. Nope, farming experience. Nope, succeeded. As for you, I guess it doesn't really matter if I give experience to someone else. Uh, might as well make the cavalry stronger. Venomous spit. Missed. Uh, 
Alright, entangle again. Succeed. These uh, disable abilities are really good, as as per usual. Okay, there's no way we're teleporting that. We'll just grab it. Um, but we did grab that. Um, is there anything else down this way? I don't think so. I think, yeah, it's because they're showing up on the map, but they have already been cleared. Uh, right, we didn't have enough movement. That's why I, I did that. Uh, one defense, one resistance. Sounds good to me. And then there's the crypt over there, which was three spiders, so that'll be nice. Yeah, it's up to 40. And you guys are just doing gold. I think gold is fine, because we want to start that wizard tower as soon as we can. Yeah, this is all just basic infantry stuff. We should be able to clear it pretty well, and we are at peace with the orcs, so... For as long as that lasts. Change. Alright, so I could produce some Axemen here in a single turn, or I could go for the Warhol, which gives me Heavy Cavalry and Abominations. Now, I think I've demonstrated that the Abomination is really good. I do want the, um... I probably want one Abomination in this army, but I'm going to want Heavy Cavalry mostly. So I think... I don't want to spend money, actually. I need to get that wizard tower started. Hmm. Wall climbing. It's interesting. And she is a rogue, so she should have different skills than my warrior hero. Uh, we'll take the defense, because I'm boring. And... Get you facing the camera. Good use of movement points. Uh, are the halfling... or frostlings... frostlings coming for me? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's grab this. And have our first war. And she didn't grab the relay, so... No spells for her. Okay, well, might as well. Block, yeah. Um, well, I could have a... Better angle if, uh, there was no units in the way. Okay, and that's four, so uh, four attacks. I think they're out of movement. Six. We can try to hit him. Oh. Whoops. Okay. Just got a high damage roll. I was hoping to damage him to make it easier for my hero. But, I mean, we get marksmanship on our crossbow, which isn't bad. Yeah, so plus one HP, plus one attack, which doesn't matter because they don't have strike. But then, because their ranged unit, marksmanship will be one attack and one defense. Which is pretty good. Uh, you guys were building a halberdier. You know what? We will uh, we will let that finish. I'm good with having a halberdier. And then back to housing. Yeah, it's already kind of an interesting start to the mission. There's a lot going on. Uh, they are fleeing. Good. You're owned by independence. Come on, at least flag the structure. Um, siege workshop. I mean, I need four turns of that. Oh, never mind. I guess I could have refunded it. I thought they'd already had a turn of production in, into it, but I guess not. Also, that heavy cavalry, I suppose, could they could betray me and just attack here. Uh, they are at war with each other. Okay. Irresponsible. Why? They lost a hero. Okay. Average, enlisted a hero. Renowned, built these cities and enlisted a hero. Okay. 
that's kind of unfair as far as the reputation goes. Um, but yeah, you can kind of get a hint of their uh, relative strengths based on what these titles are. I don't know them all. I don't know if Renowned is high strength or not. I assume not. Irresponsible. I'm assuming we're all kind of in the average range. Uh, also, Carissa is evil, as you can see. A CPU Knight. Okay, so we are at level 2 AI. I said oh no in the previous part, because uh, when I saw that the enemy was Squire. That wasn't me being afraid, that was me thinking, oh no, they're going to be terrible. Because uh, Squire is level 1, so I'm glad that we're already past that. Come on, flag the structure. Flag these structures. Ah! Do you want walls here? Not really. I'm not merchandise. Cancel housing. Four turns of housing. We got us to grow. Retreat for now. Right, okay, we get to uh, have a map here, I guess. A lot of snowscapers. Do we really want to go into that? Oh, no mind map? Okay. Oh wow, this is pretty far. I guess that's what happens when we attack an undefended central structure. Hmm. Right, you can't select them to see how far they can move anymore. If they're coming to us anyway. Might as well. Okay, good. Oh, they were getting some good rolls. Was that four hits? Okay. So three snowscapers. Those are ranged. Hmm. Well, we'll see if they come down. I don't want to rush up there in case they have more units right, right on the other side of the underground. Ah, uh, they're running away. Okay. Not entirely sure what Carissa's doing. This is, uh... Also kind of weird, I don't normally clear so many sites like this. I, I seem to remember, because I, 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 I haven't played um, Age of Wonders 2 a whole lot, but I have played a lot of Shadow Magic, uh, mostly through the random map generator, which was new to Shadow Magic. And, um, yeah, so I don't remember there being this many of these treasure sites. I could just attack. I have the advantage of... Um, Oh, that was smart. We have the advantage of draining their movement points. Uh, they might just die, though. These things are not very strong. I just don't like them getting turns because of the web. Like, I definitely I respect the web. Oh. Alright, well, that's one down. Uh, 
How much health do you have left? Five? She'll probably hit, and she might do enough damage. Are you immune to poison? You don't even have poison resistance. 50. Oh wait, can I do a poison spit if I move that much? No, but I can entangle. Interesting. Um, because entangles melee, I suppose. All right, let's burn a movement point. Okay, good, didn't kill it. Four damage, yeah, okay. So it, it did make a difference, what I did there. All right, and if you spend your turn webbing, she did. A little bit questionable. So you only actually gain experience from kills in this game, so who gets the attacks doesn't actually matter. But I do want to get all these kills if you can. And I got enough... oh, not enough gold. Enough gold plus... um... yeah. Plus two attack, plus two damage, and lightning strike. Hello. Hmm. Alright, that was pretty nice. Uh, I guess that structure is this hasteberry tree. There is a underground here. Well, given that our leader is reasonably protected with both of our armies in these positions, Maybe we will just run underground. As for you guys, I guess we'll take a peek up that way and then we'll come back and be cowardly. Um, three, three turns, okay. Cancel one of those. We're just gonna set it back again anyway though. They're doing this on purpose. Uh, except. That is what I want to do. Taunt. Ooh, taunt's a pretty fun skill. Generally, I don't like people attacking into my heroes, though. I'm just going to take defense. <laughs> Once I get to a certain point, I'll stop doing that. So slow trying to move through these woods with these orc units. Uh, which orcs do not have cave crawling, do they? No. You guys don't have forestry, because if you did, it would show up under here. Can get uh, night vision at the very least, though. So they took the mine. I mean, that's a good thing to take. Alright, how many turns on this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Cancel. That's why I don't do it from that screen. 13 turns, okay. Well, we'll have it eventually. Here, I guess... I guess we don't build anything. It'll do, um... Oh, shoot. Really would rather not lose that city. But do not really get a choice, I guess. So do we wanna come up here? Probably should. Uh, we'll come up this way. Uh, by which I mean we'll explore underground and see if there's anything in here. An orc owned mine. Okay, you know what? Maybe we won't. The orcs already own that area. 
Oof. Yeah, so you see I'm not getting any fields here. This city's in a terrible spot. Uh, I could go Builder's Hall to get more production, but does more production even matter? Uh, yes, 40 lets me get a barracks in two turns, but then the units that I can get off it, it'll still only be three. Whatever, we're still going to do it, and then we're going to get a barracks, and then we're going to get infantry. Okay. Try this again. Um, I am, I am curious. I know I said I wasn't going to. I changed my mind. Ah, there's their hero. Ta the Rogue. It's weaken. It's cave crawling because he's a goblin. I don't have any mana structures, do I? I got everything that I've conquered. And they're gonna come out of there again? No, not yet. Oh. They didn't have enough troops to, uh, to occupy the city. And they probably tried to migrate to Frostling, and then there was a rebellion and kicked them out. That's pretty funny. Uh, of course, I don't have majority of my empire being orcs anymore, so I can't. Uh, I can't just bribe them to join me. Uh, oh, this is orc. I thought it looked kind of goblinish, but no, oh, it's an orc town. Okay. Not a good use of my army. Well, obviously. Obviously, we retake the town. And then we probably run back to the other way. Unfortunately, I don't know where their troops went to. Ah, we have first strike as well. Doesn't matter. I guess that is a target you could go for. Okay, we conquered the town again. Excellent. I did want the war hall, but I think. becoming pretty apparent I just need more troops. So we'll get the Axemen. Grab that. Oh, they're over there. Well, hopefully they'll get attacked. I could also just run over and flag these, I suppose. No, we'll go back down this way because I anticipate them coming in this direction. It's oh, a bright torch. And there's cave up, cave up. Okay. Well, I guess going underground was uh, not so exciting after all. And that brings us into an hour. Day 19. Yeah, turns go pretty fast in this game. Yeah, only nine more turns on that. So we'll actually get our wizard tower started next time. I guess another reason to bring this army back over here. 
so that my wizard isn't completely vulnerable. Yeah, that's the start of our second mission. We'll continue with this next time. I will see you then.